Good morning students this is your english lesson in this lesson we are going to read unit number 12 raggedy ann and the kite from oxford reading circle let's get started raggedy ann is a rag doll owned by a girl called masila one day in the park raggedy watched a group of children working busily They tied some sticks together with strings and covered the frame with a light cloth. While they worked, they talked about the kite. So Raggedy Ann knew this must be a kite. Once they had fastened the tail to the kite and tied a large ball of twine to the front, one of the boys held it up in the air and an other boy walked off. Unwinding the ball of twine, there was a nice breeze blowing. So the boy with the twine called, "Let her go," and started running. Marcella and Raggedy watched the kite sail through the air. It soared up, soared, fly or rise high in the air. But suddenly the kite acted strangely. It began darting to and fro. darting to and fro to move about quickly and finally making four or five loop the loops it crashed to the ground it needs more tail one boy shouted then the children wondered where they might get more rags to fasten to the tail of the kite let's tie raggedy and to the tail suggested masila she would enjoy a flight The children all cheered at this new suggestion. So Raggedy Ann was tied to the tail of the kite. This time the kite rose straight in the air and remained steady. The boy with the ball of twine unwound it until the kite and Raggedy Ann were way up and far away. Raggedy Ann enjoyed being up there. She could see for miles and the children looked so tiny. All of a sudden, a great puff of wind came and carried Raggedy Ann and and the kite away. She could hear the wind singing on the train as it stretched. But then Raggedy Ann felt a trip in the rag to which she was tied. As each puff of wind caught her, the rip widened, rip to pull something quickly. And Marcella watched Raggedy, Raggedy and rise high above the field. She wished that she too could fly. But after the kite had been up in the air for five or ten minutes, Marcella grew restless. Will you please pull down the kite now? She asked the boy with the twine. I want Raggedy and. Let her fly," the boy replied. "We will bring her home to you later." Marcella did not like to leave Raggedy Ann, so she sat down to wait. Marcella could not see the wind ripping the rag to which Raggedy was tied. Suddenly, the rag parted and Raggedy Ann was blown away by the wind. Marcella jumped up, too surprised to say anything. The kite released from the weight of Raggedy Ann began darting and swooping. Darting moves somewhere rapidly. Swooping moves rapidly downwards to the ground. We will get her for you," some of the children said when they saw Marcella's troubled face. And they started running in the direction Raggedy Ann had fallen. Marcella ran with them. They ran and ran, and at last they found the kite upon the ground by Marcella's house, but they could not find Raggedy Ann anywhere. She must have fallen near you, your yard," a boy said to Marcella. For the kite was directly over here when the doll fell. Masla was heartbroken. She went in the house and lay on the bed. Mama and Daddy went out with the children and tried to find Raggedy Ann, but Raggedy Ann was now here to be seen. Masla could couldn't be persuaded to eat dinner. Persuaded to make someone to do. 
persuaded to eat dinner and lay and sobbed on her bed until finally she went to sleep as she slept masla dreamed that raghdi and had come home to her she woke with a cry of course mama came to her bed right away and said that daddy would offer a reward in the morning for the return of raghdi it was all my fault mama masla said i should not have given the children dear old raghdi and to tie on the kite mama soothed her with cheering words although she felt indeed that raghdi and was truly lost and would never be found again now where was raghdi and all this time when raghdi and dropped from the kite the wind caught in her skirt and carried her along until she fell with the third third move face up in the fork of the large tree directly over masla's house two robins who had a nest near nearby flew chattering away presently the robins returned and called at raghdi and for lying so for lying so close to their nest but raghdi and only smiled at them and did not move then the robins quite sit down and quit their quarreling evening came and the robins sang their good night songs and raghdi and watched the stars come out twinkle all night and disappear in the morning light in the morning mama robin hopped up closer to raghdi and in order to investigate she called to daddy robin and told him to come see the nice yarn we could use it to line the nest with she said so the robins hopped closer to raghdi and and asked if they might have some of the yarn here to line their nest raghdi and smiled at them so the robin so the two robins pulled and tugged uh, at raghdi and's yarn here until they had enough to line their nest and loosened her loosened less tight or form so she could peep over the side of the limb raghdi and saw she was in the trees in the in her own yard just as when before eating any breakfast marcela started out to find raghdi and as she searched in the garden mama robin and daddy robin started calling cheery cheery to each other marcela looking up into the tree above the house to see the robins and this covered raghdi and peeping down at her here is raghdi and she shouted happily marcela's parents came out and saw raghdi smiling down they climbed out of the attic attic window attic a low story and poked raghdi and poked to push something raghdi and out of the tree with a stick and she fell right into masla's arms where she was hugged tightly you will never go up on a kite again raghdi and said masla i missed you i will never let you out of my sight again now come to the questions question number 1 what were the children making the answer is the children were making a kite question number 2 why did masla offer the children raghdi and to tie on to the kite the answer is the kite the children made needed a longer tail and they were wondering where they could get more rags to tie to it this is when masla offered to tie raghdi and to kite question number 3 what did the children do when raghdi and and the kite fell down question uh, answer is they began running in the direction where the kite and raghdi and had fallen question number 4 why do you think the robins flew away from their nest the answer is raghdi and fell from the sky in the fork of the tree near the robins nest they were scared and flew away question number 
How did Marcella feel when she couldn't find Raggedy Ann? The answer is, Marcella was extremely unhappy when she couldn't find Raggedy Ann.